The surprise Nobel Prize win by South Korean author Han Gang is revitalizing Korea's publishing industry, an area that has been slumping in the face of advanced technology and digitalization. Printing and binding companies are burning the midnight oil to meet the explosive demand for Han's books. But fatigue is not a concern for them. Our Han Daun takes us to the scene. A printing company in Paju City, Gyeonggi-do Province. A massive printing press continuously churns out sheets of paper filled with tightly packed text from early in the morning. These are parts of Nobel Prize laureate Han Gang's I Do Not Bid Farewell, a story about the Jeju April 3rd uprising and massacre. Since the announcement of Han's surprise Nobel Prize win, requests for tens of thousands of copies have poured in, prompting staff to work against the clock without a moment's rest. But they're more thrilled than ever, and exhaustion is not a concern. We're busy printing books by the author Han Kang. While it can be quite tiring, we hope to receive more orders like this. Similar scenes are unfolding at a bookbinding company next door, where the entire staff is working emergency shifts, striving to complete the books that readers are eagerly awaiting, including Han Gang's The Vegetarian and Human Acts. They have expedited the binding process, reducing it from seven days to just two. We were largely idle because we had no work to do, but now we're swamped. I hope the era of paper books is making a comeback. Meanwhile, public interest and admiration for Nobel laureate Han Gang continue to grow. Congratulatory flowers are being sent to her home, while visitors flock to a bookstore run by Han, though it has been temporarily closed. Others have opted to visit Paju, Korea's city of books, amid the rising interest in literature and Korean authors. I read novels a lot, and when I'm fully immersed in books, I forget where I am and begin my own adventure. The excitement surrounding Han Gang's historic Nobel Prize win has ignited Korea's passion for literature, inspiring many to embrace the charm of traditional paper books and explore the limitless realm of creativity. Han Dan, Arirang News. Oh, I really hope I could be there out like on a picnic and mm -hmm. read some books on bean bags. And yes. I really hope that this trend will be a, a very long lasting one, especially with the overflow of, you know, uh, mobile devices, right. smartphones, and you can read all those digital contents, not on paper books, mm -hmm. but elsewhere. So uh, speaking of which, Bella, do you prefer reading paper books or eBooks? Well, to be honest, mm -hmm. I don't read a lot of books on a daily <laughs> basis, but uh, when I do read often, uh, I definitely read paper books. Uh, how about you, Soa? Uh, I have never ever tried to read an e-book, oh. and I think I won't for a long time. Mm -hmm. I really don't want paper books to disappear. Right. And uh, you know, actually, there are numerous studies that show that reading from printed paper is better for comprehension Ooh. skills and also learning skills for children. I have actually never read uh, e-books either. Uh, I also feel like reading ebooks won't actually feel like reading it will just feel like watching something on an electronic device right. especially because mm. you don't have the smell of paper yes right? I, I know love and that. like that the gesture of you know mm. flipping the papers uh, so you know I don't read too much I told you already how about you how often do you read or how much books do you read on average um that's a good question mm -hmm. because every year in my new year's resolution oh. I put in read a lot <laughs> but I think each year I read less and less <laughs> Uh, but Bella, do you know mm -hmm. how the average number is regarding uh, people who read books in Korean? How many books do you think a Korean reads on average? Not a lot, I believe. Because of the electronic devices and all the SNS going viral, I feel like reading books, the number is going down. Mm -hmm. That's correct, because mm -hmm. the culture ministry says the average number of books adults in Korea read last year mm -hmm. was 3.9, so less oh. than 4. And in 2013, it was 12.9, so really? almost 13. So that's a big, <gasps> that difference. A big difference. But I can mm -hmm. imagine that next year the number may rise mm -hmm. due to the recent increase in people trying to <laughs> grab those books by Hangang. Exactly. We should definitely contribute to those figures. Good idea.